Thank you. Please stay out. I'll call the cops. You did it on me. What? Don't lie to me, that dumb son of a bitch. Call the cops on me. I didn't call the cops. Yes, you did. You went right over there and called the cops. No, I didn't. Get off. I didn't call the cops on you. You lying son of a bitch. The cops called me and said you filed a police complaint. I went down and talked to him. I well, didn't. What the hell? Is I didn't go right over there and file it. I asked yes, you what I should do because well, you're clearly you out of order. You're out of order. For what? I said get out. But what was I out of order I for? I said you're out of order. I'm, I'm a constituent. Not as far as I'm concerned. Why, why is that? I'm not going to get input with you. Just leave. Well, is Jim going to come and do I a... I told you what I told you. What? Now please leave. Listen, so you he's not going to... have the guts to sit here and talk with me and have oh, to run down to the cops. Get out. Well, you, you were kind of throwing the words around there, and I just thought you were like... I mean, I've never had somebody who's... I mean, I never had a guy come and call me a liar on you, did you? I didn't call you a liar. Yes, you did. See, you're lying to me now. No, I didn't. Just leave. I did not call now, you a liar. You and Bill Connor and the whole goddamn bunch. Get the hell out of here. What do you mean, Bill Connor? You and Bill Connor tried to get me fired 25 years ago, and you know it. No, I didn't. <laughs> Bill Connor might have, but I didn't. You did too. I used your name. For what? I just told you. Now, please leave. Okay, well, when's Jim going to come into town and meet with us? I don't know. Why don't you call Jim? Well, what's his number? Because I can't seem to get a hold of him. When did you try? Well, I checked with you, and I, I told you he wasn't going to do a town meeting. What more do you need to know? But why not? We're constituents. I told you just go. But we'd like to get. Well, if this is the best you can do, is go down to the cops. It's just unbelievable. Well, Absolutely unbelievable. Well, I've never had somebody who I employ call me an ass and and carry you on like you did. Call you that. Not that I employ. I mean, I help to pay your check over here. Just go. Just go. I'm not gonna talk to you. Well, I'm concerned about the I'm illegal glad immigration. Concerned. Okay. Really glad you're concerned. So you don't care about what your constituents think. You said that. And he's our representative. So who do we talk Just to? Just go, please. Just go. Okay. See you later. All right. We the people tell the government what to do. It doesn't tell us. I'm concerned about the I'm illegal sorry, immigration. Okay. Really glad you're concerned. We the people are the driver. The government is the car. And we decide where it should go and by what route and how fast. You and Bill Connor and the whole goddamn bunch, get the hell out of here. It seemed to me that we'd begun reversing the order of things. That through more and more rules and regulations and confiscatory taxes, the government was taking more of our money more of our options, and more of our freedom. Just go, please. Just go. But man is not free unless government is limited. There's a clear cause and effect here that is as neat and predictable as a law of physics. As government expands, liberty contracts. Our Constitution is a document in which we, the people, tell the government what it is allowed to do.